Alrighty, now to get started, what you're going to need is three-fourths cup of water. You're going to use one cup total, but you're going to be heating up three-fourths cup first, okay? So you're going to need three-fourths cup of water, a tablespoon of salt, any kind of salt that you have at home, a table salt, I uh, only use Himalayan pink salt, just whatever you have on hand is fine. You're also going to need two packets of Knox gelatin. For the vegans out there, if you do not want to use gelatin, I have a link down below to a product that you can use in place of gelatin. You're going to need four tablespoons of that product, okay? Um, you're going to need some food coloring if you want. This is completely optional. I'm just going to use a few drops of food coloring because I like for my gel to match the lid that I'm using. You're also going to need some oil. I'm going to use rosemary and lemon oil. These are essential oils. Please, I've been using them many years. I'll say this in all of my videos. Please do not drop links to direct sales essential oil companies because I do not use them. I have my own brands that I like and I'll put links to those down below. Um, I'm making this to spruce up my kitchen a bit. So I'm going to be using rosemary and lemon oil. This is a really, really awesome combination for a kitchen, I think. Let's see, I believe I have gone over everything except for the container. Please use a glass container. Don't use plastic for this because the oils will eat through the plastic. Okay, use a glass container. And you're going to want a lid of some sort. Now, of course, you don't want the lid to be, you know, completely sealed off. Then you can't smell it. So what this is, it's it's just a drinking lid that you put on mason jars and you put a straw in the top so that you can drink out of it. I got these at Walmart. The mason jar came from the Dollar Tree. And of course, it's a standard mason jar with the lid. You can poke holes in it if you want and put the lid back on. If you leave the lid completely off, your product is going to dry out and it'll turn into like this weird little hockey puck looking thing in the bottom of the jar in about 30 days. So when it does that, you just pull it out, make a new batch and pour it back in. But if you use a lid with holes in it, it'll last you about a month and a half. I have had some to last two months, but you know, about a month and a half is what it's going to last you. Okay, I think I have gone over everything. So to get started, you want to put your three-fourths cup of water into a saucepan and then put in your tablespoon of salt. Now you want to heat this on the stove and stir, stir, stir until the salt has completely dissolved. And then take it off the heat Sprinkle your gelatin over the water. Don't just dump it in or it'll clump up on you. You want to just sprinkle it over the top of the water and then stir it up really, really well until it is um, dissolved. Use a whisk or a fork. And then once you do that, come back and I'll show you how to put the rest of it together. Alrighty. Okay, all of my salt, my gelatin is dissolved, and I've added a little bit of food coloring. So it should be ready to pour into the container. Now, because you, you used three quarters of a cup of the water to heat up, now you want to cool it down just a little bit. So pour one fourth cup of water into what you already have in your pot and just give that a stir. That's just going to help it to start cooling down, okay? Because you don't want it to be really like boiling hot when you pour into your container because then you, you risk cracking your container or burning yourself. So now go ahead and just pour it in carefully, carefully. No burns, please. There we go. Alrighty. Now add in your oils. So I doubled this recipe a few minutes ago while I was heating it up because I realized my jar wouldn't be full. But the original recipe that I gave you, give you, that I gave you, using the eight ounces of water is going to call for 20 drops of an essential oil and because I'm using two oils I'll use about 10 drops each you can use however much you like um, if you don't want the fragrance to be you know all that strong then don't use as much if you want it stronger then use more just just a personal preference you know you just use whatever you like so just give that a little shake we all know that oil and water don't mix but just give it a little stir there we go. All right, and it is done. Put your lid on it. If you're using a lid, if you're not using a lid, then don't. <laughs> so now it is done. Now I'll just let this sit there and it will it will congeal up and you're like a really, really firm jello type deal. And that's all that there is to it. So I think these make like really cute uh, hostess gifts, teacher's gifts, whatever, what have you. That's all there is to it. So if you would, please click that subscribe button. 
Also, give this video a thumbs up. If you would, please check me out on Facebook and my website. The links to both of which are in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.